Hello, Laverne here, and I'd like to thank you for joining me. May this video be a blessing to you, your loved ones, and may it honor and glorify God in His kingdom. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the beast system in the end times and how the beast system, along with the Antichrist, who will really be a counterfeit Christ, and the false prophet are going to deceive the masses. It's going to begin with this book here. Many of you will recognize it. It is the King James Holy Bible. It is made up of 66 books. And if not this particular Bible, then it will be one much like it, perhaps a New Living Translation Bible. But in any case, the Protestant Bible is going to be what the Antichrist and false prophet use to deceive the masses. Now I know this is going to upset many Christians, for there are many who have delved deep into end time prophecy and are certain that the Antichrist and false prophet are going to come from Islam, that they are going to be Muslims. Others say, no, the Antichrist is going to be a Jew. They're going to preach some form of Judaism. Others say, no, the Antichrist is going to mix New Ageism or Paganism with Christianity. And it will be some kind of perverted form that is going to include many pagan books in addition to perhaps the Bible. But my brothers and sisters, those who are part of the elect, many of you will already know that the Bible does not include all of God's written word. And this is why the Antichrist will be able to deceive the masses. There are already hundreds of different doctrines and theologies that are incompatible with one another. We have universalism. We have once saved, always saved, by faith alone. Then we have other Christians who say, no, salvation is by faith and works. There are those who say, you don't even need to read the Bible. Do away with God's word altogether and just live according to how your heart directs you. Your heart knows what's right and what's wrong. Just follow your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. They say this even though scripture is clear that our heart is wicked and deceitful. And yet this is what people say. There are many Christians who say, once you've said a sinner's prayer, once you've been a water baptized, you automatically receive the Holy Spirit. And once you have the Holy Spirit, you can't be deceived by Satan. The Holy Spirit will guide you in all things. There are those who believe in some form of hyper radical grace that gives them a license to sin. There are those who say any gospel that teaches you must turn from sin or that sin can separate you from God after you said a sinner's prayer, well, that's not a good news gospel. That's something perverted. There are many Christians who say, if any gospel teaches, if any pastor is teaching that you can be condemned to eternal damnation after you've confessed Christ as your Lord, well, then that's not a good news gospel. Many Christians believe that the only way something can be called a good news gospel is if that, or rather the doctrine and theology that comes from it, gives you permission to continue to live as you are. If you are not allowed to continue to live as you are, if there is something required of you, then it's not really a good news gospel. Well, these are lies from the pit of hell. Satan wants you to believe there is nothing for you to do. Satan wants you to believe that you have a license to sin, that everything has been done for you, that all you have to do is believe. These are lies from the pit of hell, and they are lies that the Antichrist, who will really be a counterfeit Christ, is going to use. Now, how is it that a leader, a a antichrist claiming to be Christ is going to be able to deceive the world. How will he do it? Well, 
It's because there, were, there will first be established a false, false prophet and a false antichrist. Two people are going to come on the scene and there's going to be war. There's going to be some famine. There's going to be pestilence. There's going to be natural disasters. There's going to be economic collapse. And we are going to see two people come on the scene that many Christians are going to point to and declare to be the false prophet and antichrist. And then someone else is going to come on the scene the true antichrist and false prophet and they will defeat the first two and in doing so one third of the world's population that we have today who call themselves christians will declare this person to be the son of christ return and he will sit in the temple and declare himself to be god and Christians and the rest of the world will bow down to him and take the mark of the beast. This is how things are going to come about. This is how they will play out. We have one third approximately of the world's population that calls themselves Christians and it will be this huge mass of people that the Antichrist and the false prophet are going to call on. These are the people who are going to support him, except for a small remnant, except for the elect. For the elect will not be deceived. They will recognize that this one who defeats the false, false prophet and the false antichrist is really the true antichrist or counterfeit Christ. And because they will not bow down to him because they will not take the mark because they will denounce him and because they will be true followers of Christ followers of the way they will be keeping God's commandments as the book of Revelation tells us for Revelation tells us the dragon will make war against the Saints that keep God's commandments so the Christians today who are following many of the false doctrines out there who believe in the prosperity gospel and the pre-trib rapture who believe in once saved always saved who believe that they automatically receive the holy spirit simply because they've said a sinner's prayer those people who believe they have a license to sin they are going to take the mark of the beast and they will turn on the true remnant they will turn them in to the beast system to the government and the New World Order. This is how the New World Order will be established. It will be with the help of Christians and this book here. My brothers and sisters, do not be deceived. Do not fall victim to these many false teachings within the church today. The church is absolutely corrupt. Christians today believe they can live with one foot in the church and one foot in the world. It's as if they have uh, one foot in two different canoes. And they are, at the present time, in very still waters. So with some work, they are able to stand in two canoes. But we are very soon going to hit some troubling waters. We're going to hit some rapids. And at that point... These Christians are going to have to choose which canoe they're going to stand in. Are they going to continue to follow the prince of this world or are they going to follow the true Son of God? Unfortunately, most are going to choose incorrectly. Most are going to end up walking down the wide path that leads to the gates of destruction. Brothers and sisters, we must have a true fear of the Lord. If we do not fear the Lord, if we fear those who can take our body today, those who can kill us today, if we fear them more than we fear God, then the chances are the one we should be fearing 
will end up taking our eternal soul. All right, as always, I look forward to comments and messages. Till next time, peace and blessings. Hello, Laverne here, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.